I am sure most of you guys remember the 2022 Pittsburgh Pro guest posing where Derek Lunsford, Nick Walker, Hunter Labrada, and Brandon Curry all came out in their medium-sized posing trunks. It was the event where Big Ramy did not show up. A lot of people say that that's why he didn't win the Olympia. But either which way, guys, Brandon Curry was off at this guest posing, and Hunter Labrada looked like he was almost show-ready. Nick Walker looked massive, as always, and to everybody's surprise, including mine, Derek Lunsford looked the best. He did. He did. Everybody thought, well, maybe he's just better conditioned. Well, the fact of the matter is, he did defeat all of those guys. So this guest posing, or that guest posing, reflected how good Derek Lunsford actually looked. And just yesterday, I did a comparison between Nick Walker... The uh, guest posing versus the Olympia, and I asked you guys to give me 500 likes for that one, and I would do the same with Derek Lunsford. You guys didn't get that up to 500 likes, but why should you guys pay for my mistake? Let's do this comparison anyway. I'm sure most of you guys figured that I was going to do this one. So let's dive right in. Front double bicep. This guy is huge. Now watch this. Sizzle. You notice? He's not as small. Now here's the side by side. He's not as small as the Nick Walker comparison. Nick's arms and his wheels, things of that nature, were so much bigger at the guest posing than at the Olympia. But Derek seems to have maintained his, his arm size. Obviously, guys, the legs are going to shrink a little bit when you get more conditioned. But I believe Derek did a better job at hanging on to that muscle then say you're Nick Walker. And of course, guys, their placings reflected that Derek did defeat Nick Walker at the Olympia. I like this little fadeaway. Here is the 260-pound morph into the Olympia. Now watch this, guys. A couple of years ago at the Olympia 212. Now watch this. Oh, my soul. He's about 170, 80 pounds here. Oh, you see that? That's not even the same person. Oh my goodness. N now watch his legs. Boof. Could you imagine? Could you, It doesn't even look like the same person, guys. Does not even look like the same human being. Could you imagine? Now don't be offended by this, Derek Lunsford, if you're watching. This is just for fun. Could you imagine Derek Lunsford with Derek Lunsford's arms? Looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Worse yet, could, or better yet, could you imagine Derek Lunsford with Derek Lunsford's legs? Holy cow. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way that he could even hoist that big torso heap up in the air with those little twigs. And those are probably good sized legs. I would dream to have legs that big. But anyway, go through these shots, guys. Bit of a fun one. Ask for the front lat spread. Not as drastic as a change. Now, see that? His wheels did obviously lose some size, as anybody would, as anybody would. But you do the side-by-side, -side and the front lat spread, guys, is the... You look better as you get more condition, or you kind of look bigger, because your midsection gets smaller and smaller. I mean, the side chest, things of that nature, even the front double, you're going to look monstrous off-season. But as far as the front lat spread, and I've always said this, you look terrible when you're off season in this shot. And this kind of reflects that, guys. But just for fun, here's the off season. Maybe 260 pounds. Keep that in mind. Now watch his legs. <laughs> and the rest of the physique, too. Now, what is he, 100 pounds heavier here, guys? That's, uh, that's not human. That's not even human. Side chesticle development, the side chest of this big man's chested man. Can you believe this one? Derek Lunsford's upper body is chest. It looks bigger. So, yeah, he definitely did the right thing heading in to the Olympia prepping. Some guys just rely on the size they have and just rely strictly on the dieting. It looks like to me that not only was Derek dieting 100%, but he was pumping it up. Now watch this. The big legs are huge on this little man. 
Refinement, refinement. Now, refined a little bit more? Mm, I wouldn't say. I think he's just smaller. 2021. And here he is. Not only he's kneeling down, but he is much smaller. Look at the lag size, guys. But not making fun of Derek Lansford. This development beats anything that I've ever had. This is Greg Doucette level. Let's take a look at the back. Because much like the front lat spread, this pose right here, watch. Boom. Looks like he gained meat in the back. It's because of the detail. That detail pops out of the back. Here's the side by each. And, well, I don't know. Looks like he almost is a little bit wider in the lats. So, yeah, he was much like his chest. He was just pumping it up. Look at the size of the wheels. Wheels are pretty separated, I have to say, at that guest posing. He is a monster friggin' beast, is what he is. Now let's do the, what's the opposite of evolution? Of course, we don't want to say evolution. I believe Derek Lunsford is a religious man, so I don't want to use that word, evolution. But this is a fadeaway. And like I said, guys, this back here would be awesome to have. But then, wow, Olympia winning worthy. I mean, could you imagine when he had a back like this, people would say, you're never going to win the Olympia title. Are you crazy? You're dreaming. But then Derek Lunsford, he did dream. And he got this big old back. It is a big gorilla back. Here is, <laughs> here is the rear lat spread. M maybe not a, a gorilla back. But either which way, guys, it is a very impressive back development at that Olympia. Now, to be fair... To the guest posing Pittsburgh Pro. He's not opened up. And maybe he's just too full. They eat so much. Like a cow. Gluttonous, gluttonous. I'm telling you right now, guys. Derek Lunsford, he must have ate a pile of food to get that thick and big. Now, for fun. Just for fun. Here's a side-by-side -side of the, uh, the Derek Lunsford. Of, and I didn't even tell you what year this was. 2015. It's 2015. And it does prove that he is not opened up. Because I think his lat to lat, I think he's wider in 2015. than he was in uh, 2022 guest posing Pittsburgh. So ultimately, yeah, this is a his best back development by far. It is just as or more conditioned than his 212 versions. And obviously much, you know, more conditioned. And my opinion, wider than that, that uh, Pittsburgh pro guest posing so there you have it guys bit of a fun one and i have to admit sometimes i admit this when when it uh, calls for it i had fun setting this one up i had funner setting this one up than you guys did even watching it very enjoyable very enjoyable it's a uh, it's satisfying to see those wheels just go and then shrink down so yeah Derek lunsford right from day freaking one the guy had an impressive physique you can see put on that mass 212 and then put on an obscene amount of size. 260 pounds, is that what he was? And then maybe 230 at the Olympia? What was he? 235? Hmm, either which way. That is a giant pile of weight too for a guy that height. Hit thumbs up on the video guys. Let me know that you enjoyed it with a nice thumbs up. Get it up to 500 likes and maybe we'll do the same thing with say Hunter Labrada. And you know what? I think that'll be the most interesting. Hunter, maybe even more conditioned at the Pittsburgh than at the Olympia. Could be, could be. That would be funny. Have a great one, guys.